I'm about to sow some pole beans, but instead of a trellis, I'm using a plant. I am using corn. And I have a big spiral of corn that I'm going to plant these beans on. It is an old Native American tradition in planting beans, corn, and squash all together that mutually benefit one another, also known as the Three Sisters. When you plant the Three Sisters, you want to start with your corn. And once your corn gets about eight to 10 inches tall, that's when you can sow your pole beans. The pole beans will use the corn as a trellis and the beans as a nitrogen fixer feed the corn, which is also a high nutrient needing crop. And then the squash will grow in between the rows here and act as a weed suppressant and ground cover. Remove the mulch right next to your corn stalk and plant two beans that have been soaked overnight. Do this for all of your corn stalks that are eight to 10 inches tall and for anything else that is shorter, wait and do a succession of planting beans later on. So you wanna harvest corn first thing in the morning. And the reason for that is because the sugars are stored in those kernels. You're gonna get a much sweeter corn. And then as the day progresses and the sun gets hotter, those sugars are gonna to go to the rest of the plant and then the process will recycle over the next day. So picking your corn first thing in the morning is the way to go. And the way that you know your corn is ready is first you look for a a brown silk, like this one that's completely brown. And then what you do is you peel it back like this. Stick your fingernail in there. And if it protrudes a kind of white milky substance, it is ready. And you probably have like a day window to harvest it if you don't wanna harvest it immediately today. If it doesn't put out any liquid, then it is overripe and best that you just save it for seed or popcorn. I love popcorn. Me too. Can I make popcorn with this? Uh, not with these, but we'll have some for popcorn. So now we're shucking the corn because we're gonna freeze this corn since we've got so much of it. And we're saving the silks to use for tea, which has a bunch of medicinal benefits. If you notice any damage at the top of your corn, you'll likely see some powdery substance and caterpillars. And those are caterpillar, those are corn earworms. And you can prevent them by drizzling a little bit of oil, like vegetable oil, olive oil on the top of the silks um, when they start turning brown. But I forgot that uh, step and I'm just gonna be cutting them off and I'll have a perfect head of corn. I'm gonna be cutting all of these kernels off and freezing them. And then when we do need some fresh, we've got a couple down there that I can go ahead and use now. Not so bad for our first harvest with at least two or three more to come.